All right, welcome aboard, everyone. A blast from the past. Uh, actually, just loaded up in my uh, regional world back in the uh, past, uh, like a couple years ago when Planet Crafter was going. Like the last episode I did was showing off like the drones and stuff like that. Uh, we actually have quite a bit of changes since th that happened. What was that? <laughs> Uh, for one, we now have the drone active. It has, I believe, actually went into full release. And we got a new world coming. So, we're going to revisit Planet Crafter again. Uh, this could be kind of a wrap up of my original world. Uh, it, it was kind of fun to mess with what I've gotten, um, how far I've gone. Uh, but there are a couple things I do want to show. Um, we're going to go to one of the other sites. It's going to take me a little bit to remember how to do that, because it's been a while. What do we got now? And we're in the mammal stage. And I don't know what the next one is, because it doesn't really say. Um, I haven't really made any mammals. Portal generator... So here's one of our new items we can do. We can make a vehicle station now. Genetic synthesizer. Probably gonna have to revisit most of this stuff in the new ecosystem. I don't know what that is either. Animal feeder? Animal shelter. Okay, so we have it. An amphibian farm. Definitely got a lot of new things that I am not familiar with, that's for sure. But I think I want to save a lot of this stuff for uh, the full next play. Uh, we're actually going to play the new world completely in multiplayer because that is a new change that's happened in the game too over the last year or so. Uh, they've actually moved to full release. just looks so different seeing all these. I've been messing a little bit around with the to trying to con figure out the controls again. It's been a while, so it just looks so much different with the <laughs> land having grass and all kinds of stuff. Alright, do we have enough room to... I know this is where the... yeah, that's where the rocket platform is. So, let's go ahead. I want to mess with the vehicles before we close out the the world. Like that. Alright, so what do we need for the vehicles? Get comfy. Craft a hundred items. Unstoppable. Craft a thousand items. Okay. Vehicle station needs three aluminum, super alloy, two super alloys, and a iridium rod. <clears throat> Get a thing of water real quick after. So two and three. A radium rod, which I do have one, and a couple super alloys. And that should be it. Okay, let's get out here and grab a thing of water real quick. Alright, so what do we. Okay, we'll put it up on uh, this. Put it down this gully, though. Okay, could be a computer. Uh, kind of place it there. One of these. Nothing. I'm just kind of to the wrong side, but oh well. I'd like the vehicle to bring back with here. Right now, it's only the rover. Uh, we got rocket engines, uranium, iron, silicon. Guessing. I probably have these unlocked, I guess. Uh, okay, let's do rocket. Two rocket engines, a uranium, iron, rather silicon. I wish she wasn't so far away from the face. But...
bring a little bit of everything. Ah, uh, no cobalt wasn't required, but I'm out of fabric. Huh, I'm out of fabric. I'll go back to the other base to do that. I remember seeing iron, so I'll grab a couple of those too. Alright. Base. We have the most supplies. That is the main base, really, nowadays. Built generator, extra That fabric in the lineup here? Not. See if there's any new chip designs too. Fabric so <clears throat> I'll take all four, why not? explore all the effects of the vehicles either, but I kind of want to make one. Oh. Uh, uranium and silica. Because of course I didn't get them. Uranium, silica. Silica. And uranium. The rocket engines themselves, I've got to pick them up. I'm pretty sure I most likely have a couple somewhere, but what locations? Who knows? No, I don't want to add a new. Probably, it's probably going to be the um, crater base again. Will be the most likely target to have a couple methane chips. Can I make oh, lots of that? I'll just have it make a couple, why not? So we've already unlocked stuff like food and stuff. So. Mutagen, there's actually tier 4 mutagen now. So, get back to fabric, please. Okay. Don't really need four engines, but I'll take, take them for now. We'll try to make one animal pin and see what happens. Vehicle! <laughs> uh, how do you get out there? Okay, so right gets out. That's a lot of stuff that I'm still carrying. Alright, what else is next? Super alloy, iridium. Silicone, fabric, daylight. I already have the engine too. I need one new message received. I need three super alloys. I only have two. Trade space rocket. Can 
then I'm gonna need three Zillic, three Super Alloys, at least. I only need one Fabrix, I don't need keep all these. I need at least one Sulfur. Okay, so let's get a little bit of mixture of everything else. Get rid of the Fabrix except for one. Might as well upgrade it and see what happens. Okay, that's my super alloy. Going to use all fabric and oh, one all the engines, but one. Uh, okay, now I needed one cobalt at least. Two. Two of you. Two of you. We're seeing back three of that. And one more of you. I'll bring a uranium and three of you. All right. Hopefully, I can do most of the updates or upgrades. Sulfur for the light. I need one sulfur, one osmos. Am I carrying those things? I am. Am I supposed to whip these things or something? Okay, now it, it does go on the vehicle. to the vehicle. Oh, the, the extra little... No, that just brings it back. Oh, there it is. Wow, it's only got two spots. Equipment increase. Okay, that's five. Inventory, speed... Alright, I needed sulfur and osmosium. Sulfur and osmosium. Uh, osmosium. Uh, sulfur is where in this space? <laughs> if there is, even is any, that might not actually be any in the space. Could be up, maybe it's upstairs with the... Yeah, I'll go check upstairs. is where all the other production is. Algae, that, biomass, biomass, hydration is low. Okay, drink that. This will teleport to one of the other places because base should definitely have it, because that's, again, my main base. This is from Ireland. Really After months of hard work, I finally managed to find my way to Sentinel, unlocking process, and unlock the space trading rocket in your system. These are terraformers. I'm not able to use this, but it should help me. Chance survival will greatly improve activated, but still almost never allows for the planet factor. I may tell you if you're alive or not, so hopefully we can see each other again. Okay. Uh, upstairs. Water. Sulfur. Man, out of sulfur in that one. Alright, should be enough to 
get it. Gene Bay. It's gonna be night time, of course. I don't know if any of the uh, world has been expanded either uh, on this one, so I might toy with that just to see and let you guys know when we get into the multiplayer whether whether we see it or not. Drag beacon. Travel in the water. Right, the mouse does not steer it. That kind of sucks. Well, it drives underwater just fine. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Not quite for. Well, I mean, I guess it's first person view from my view, but. <laughs> I think I'd rather have it in this. Butterflies flying around. Uh, it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, we'll definitely explore it more within the multiplayer because this is multi seater, so we can actually sit in one vehicle and kind of do different things. straight up and down. That's... Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I can't go straight up and down, so I doubt if it's going to be, be able to do anything with the sand. I mean, it actually has trouble just going over regular humps here, so... But for the hell of it, let's go up. test multiplayer world that we're running in the original world here. We just managed to get into the sulfur fields here. Starting to expand a little bit. Wolfie's played this, but Mia's going to be playing with us too, so she's kind of learning on the ropes on the fly while we mess with the, multi the new multiplayer to kind of get the grasp with the controls and stuff again. Uh, can't make it through here. Turn that light. <laughs> Never mind. It can make make it up that. Holy crap! Okay. Bam. I didn't think it was going to be able to do that. Let's see how much light it reflects down in the caves. Uh, oh. Why did it turn me around like that? section here. As tight as these stalactites or stalagmites are. Quick 
glancing here again, sure. Whee! <laughs> got a view of all of the locations that really matters that I've made. Uh, am I stuck on this now? Oh, close. Now I am. Really? You unstuck me right on top of it again? Alright, let's go explore to see if anything's opened up over the... where the extra waterfalls and stuff were. Ability to travel as fast as we are. And we can actually kind of scan around while we're in this a little bit. try to get a drink and for some reason it just would not do it from over here. That's kind of cool that you can kind of pet the amphibians. Genetic trait? What does that mean? So insert genetic synthesizer create a new creature. Oh. Uh, uh, ah! Excuse me! What are you doing? Quit pushing the rover around! Alright. now over here that's something different should have brought food and drink with me that might have been a dumb mistake yeah. Yeah. I do have a little bit more stuff we need to explore it looks like well, I can they easily drink here Been emanation different? I don't remember. It's been too long since I've been able to do it. Not more amphibians, I guess. They're supposed to be. Froggies. No frogs. There's another waterfall over there, too. closest base is because we're going to need food. Probably the one where the... Actually, it, I already had the trade of rocket, I thought. I think 
definitely does not steer very well. Man. Just running. <laughs> At the moment, can't fit hardly anywhere. About the multiplayer, we will be able to advance through the terraformation a little bit quicker. Once we get past the, the food hurdle, I'm sure it's going to be an issue. Three of us will take more food to eat and drink, so we'll have to kind of focus on keeping that up as much as possible. at least have it in the vehicle where you can press M know where you are in the, in the world. Kind of, but it kind of made it a little bit more sense for the extras for the vehicle. Uses. Besides getting stuck on every rock and, and tree that you see.
this episode's meant to be more of an exploring of what was the remainder of this world before we change to the new world. So I think it'd be better off to check out the area over here over making Actually, a base? Where'd it go? Around the corner again? Oh, it is! I... I somehow missed this totally. I forgot. God, those things are so freaking huge. I don't remember that. <laughs> Oh, okay, so this is the, the little area where I was harvesting a couple of small extras. Uh, take a water for the road. Oops, I forgot to... Actually, let's look at that real quick before this is pod place. Okay. Tier 2 Blueprint Pinning. Yeah. Tier 2 Vehicle Speed Increase. Tier 2 Equipment Increase. Map. Vehicle. Tier 2 Vehicle. Ah, okay. Uh, Aluminum and obsidian. Okay. Go back to pod play. I'm assuming it's obsidian is probably in the very over here. It is kind of cool that I do have a base semi close to the area here. I don't think I'll go mess with the vehicle anymore. The vehicle is more trouble than it's worth right now because there's way too much freaking uh, rocks and crap in the way. like lava. <laughs> I imagine it hurts you when you touch it. I think I only have... I do have the tier 2 ripped out towards. Just not dark enough, I guess. To make a difference. This hurts you. Ow! Yes, it hurts you. <laughs> We do need the vehicle to drop, travel over this crap. Just in case, I guess it makes make more sense than roasting myself. Okay, that's 
That's gonna be a whole ordeal to figure out. Cobalt, cobalt. Okay, so that's a border wall. We won't let it go past that. Oh, that was close. Ooh, there's the city. Okay, so it is in the... Huh? It's slightly in the ground, so I can't get it, really. What kind of crap is that? Just there? That's kind of weird. Okay, more iridium. Well, the only two obsidian I saw, I could not get because they were in the ground. That sucks. one episode of looking around at this stuff? <laughs> I didn't expect that they need to do this, but... Where's the ladder? I just saw it. What the heck? I 
no, I just saw it. Went this way, was it? Oh, yeah, that way. Under the lava in here? The place is a bit warmer than my last camp, but I'm still extremely cold. It's been two days since I ran out of food. I miss my family so lonely. I've lost all hope. I will have to move out again soon. Fairfax going outside again. It's so dark and so cold. Bodily and irons in a dungeon, and mentally imprisoned by one idea, one horrible, one heinous, one uncontrollable idea. I have only one thought, one condition, one certification condemned to death. Okay. Awesome. Production multiplier fuse? A space suit? Okay, well, we'll take those. What? Space suit blade still? Oh, um, full, so. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, there's no. There's now new emotions. Hi! I forgot about her. Woohoo! And then dance, dance, dancing around, and dance, dance. And the point. Okay, is that it? actually place a left here. Um, unfortunately, I think we're going to probably just go with the re remainder of this uh, and let it, let it go. Uh, it was a fun world. Uh, I've explored a lot, as you can see, um, but there's a new world to explore. Uh, and then, like I said, I think with multiplayer in this game now, we'll be able to get just so far much farther in advancements faster once we start having multiple people what are you doing you're acting like you're on a rock but you're not but uh, once we get multiplayer and have the ability to have more than one person collecting stuff and stuff like that I, I just think it's gonna be far more I finally collected it. I just think it's going to be far more, make more sense. Can you go backwards? And we make it up this steep hill. What 
happens when you go inside the lava with the vehicle. We gotta check that before we close up. What the? There is no rock there. What are you doing? I mean, that one is. to this than I rem oh, remember coming in. Alright, let's grab that food. Oh, the chest there. Stuff that I really don't need. this one here guys i hope you enjoyed it like i said i, I, I we're doing a little bit of multiplayer on this world as well um and we want to try to get the swing of things trying to remember how to do some of the things i mean it's been well over a year since i even played this last up to this point so we're going to end this one here uh if i find some new tidbits from this world I will give a little uh, quick show of things, maybe in shorts, or maybe just do a whole episode at some point. Kind of giving a show of everything new that we spot. Alright, hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the multiplayer world in Humble Planet. Take it easy.